Mountain Vision, based on Matthew chapter 16, verses 13 through 28, chapter 17, verses 1 through 9, and the book of Mark, chapter 9, verses 2 through 8. Jesus takes his disciples to Caesarea Philippi, where he teaches them privately. He asks them, who do people say I am? John the Baptist, Elijah, Jeremiah. But what do you think? You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. You are blessed, Peter. My Father in heaven showed you this is true. Now that the disciples really understand that Jesus is the Messiah, the Savior that God promised to send, Jesus tells them what will happen when he goes to Jerusalem. The Pharisees and priests don't believe I am the Messiah. They will have me killed, but in three days, I will rise to life again. Killed? Never! Peter, you don't understand God's plan for me. If any of you wants to follow me, you must be ready to suffer the way I will suffer. But the disciples still do not understand. Even though Jesus claims that he will be killed, his disciples are sure that he can just use his power to save himself. But Jesus wants them to understand his true mission. So a few days later, Jesus speaks to Peter, James, and John. Come with me up on the mountain. Why just us? Suddenly, Jesus' face shines like the sun and his clothes begin to glow. And standing with Jesus are Elijah and Moses, two of God's greatest prophets. In shock, Peter falls to his knees and cries out. It's good we're here. We can pitch tents for the three of you. But before anyone can reply, God speaks out of the bright mist around them. This is my beloved son. Do as he says. Terrified, Peter, James, and John fall face down to the ground. When Jesus touches them comfortingly, they look up again. Jesus is now the only one there. Get up. Don't be afraid. Jesus warns the disciples not to tell anyone about what they have seen until he is raised from the dead.